This module will be looking into how we can create a fake wireless access point in our nearby vicinity. So let's revise on how exactly our laptop detects a wireless access point. So here we have an access point and here we have a laptop. So whenever you start a particular access point, it will send beacon frames all over the area. So if the laptop has happened to be within the vicinity where the beacon frames are being sent, then laptop will take one of the beacon frame and it will decode the information from it. Once it decodes the information, as we had seen earlier, it will present to a wireless device in the nice visual interface of your Windows machine. So our attack scenario is similar to what happens in the real world environment between an access point and a genuine Wi-Fi client. So instead of a router over here, we have our Kali Linux machine. The Kali Linux machine will be sending beacon frames and any genuine user who happens to be within the vicinity will be able to capture, capture the beacon frames and can decode the information and it will give you a nice interface of the available Wi-Fi SSID. So we'll be seeing this in practical on how exactly can we do this. So MDK3 is a tool which can be used to send the beacon frames all over the network. So we have three examples of the MDK3 tool. Let's analyze each one of them. The first one says, send the beacon frames from the MON0 interface through the MDK3 tool. B stands for beacon flood. That means it will flood the beacon frames all over the network through the MON0 interface. Now the SSID of those beacon frames will be the random SSIDs. In the second example, we have specified that we want to do a beacon flood on a specific SSID which is called hacked. So whenever you run this command, you will see a new Wi-Fi with SSID hacked coming up in your area. In the third example, instead of specifying a particular SSID, we have a list of 10 to 12 SSIDs in the test.txt file. And we are saying to MDK3 is to send the beacon frames with the SSID names present in this particular text file. So let's take an example. So suppose if you have 100 names inside test.txt, within 2 to 3 minutes, MDK3 will broadcast beacon frames of all the 100 names. So you will be able to find 100 new Wi-Fi networks pop up in your area. This is basically used for spamming instead of attacking. So in our next lecture, we'll look into the practical session on how we can do 